Welcome. I'm Jasmine here with the first episode of Scope for 2023. Sir Brian Bell's Center for Transfusion at the Port Mosby General Hospital is in need of blood always, as it is the most vital part of a hospital as a universal medication on high demand. Blood transfusion is needed 24 hours, seven days a week at the hospital, but is always in short supply. Drivers of the blood transfusion are reaching out to the general community, both individuals and corporate entities, to come out and donate. Blood Transfusion Center at the Port Mosby General Hospital caters for patients needing blood in the nation's capital, the central province and Gulf. Not only for trauma cases, but also to meet the needs of patients admitted to one of the 1,200 inpatient beds. Port Mosby General Hospital caters for one million people in three provinces, basically. Chairman of the Port Mosby General Hospital Blood Transfusion Committee, Dr. Carl Kingston, explained that over Christmas and New Year festive season, there were a lot of trauma cases that demanded for blood, and so the quantity of the normal blood supply was under pressure. So over the festive season, we've had some very low amounts of blood, and uh, the challenge on the team here is to come up with initiatives and see how we can um, work hand in hand with our stakeholders and partners. Dr. Kingston added they are grateful for the support from the Sir Brian Bell Foundation and the media in giving them a voice in the community. He said it is uncertain how much blood is needed on any day because it really depends on the medical cases that are presented. If we look at uh, a quarterly data, we can say from last year, from 2022, the second quarter, uh, we had like, um, we collected 2,981 bags in, in that quarter, three month period. Um, after screening them, we were left with 2,257 bags available. But then the request coming in for blood is 14,732. That's about 6.5 times more than what we had available. A screened fresh blood is needed 24 seven at the Port Mosby General Hospital to cater for a wide range of medical needs, including the operating theater, trauma, mothers in labor, and children with low blood conditions. A bag of blood weighs 450 mils from a person's supply of five to six liters and can be stored up to 35 days only. 70% of trauma cases actually are people who potentially need some blood transfusion. 40% were due to, um, you know, a penetrating injury, either cut um, or a, with, a, with a sharp object. Mm -hmm. um, and blunt trauma accounted for another 40%, almost 40%, so it's like 80%. Blood is a free gift from God, and so the Brian Bell Blood Transfusion Center staff urge donors to donate for free at any time of the day, even on public holidays. Brian Bell Group of Companies is one regular contributor through its Say Brian Bell Foundation. Besides organizing regular blood drive from the employees every six months, it also caters for some of the critical human resource positions, including the operations manager and two lab technicians and a 30-seater bus with its driver. Cochrane said the Brian Bell Foundation is focusing on manpower recruitment so they are able to do more blood drives, purchasing more specialist equipment for the blood lab and the donor transfusion, as well as training and workshops for the current blood bank staff for their own upskilling. Donating blood not only saves the life of the donor patient, but also for the donor himself or herself. It is a chance to know the health status of the donor. Sister Juliet explains. 
most importantly, we, we do the uh, mini health check for them. So we check their weight and we check their blood pressures as well. So if their weights are, sorry, blood pressures are too high or too low, then we, we interview them as well. And we have a HEO there who assists us if their blood pressures are too high, then they become our donor patients. So we, we refer them to our HEO and she takes them, takes care of them from there. As the new year begins, the blood transfusion gets to doing the blood donor drive. They were at the University of Papua New Guinea during the first week of registration and also at Goldie Army Barracks. Another benefit would be when they donate blood, um, it reduces the risk of having high blood pressure that may lead to stroke. Um, it also reduces the risk of having other heart diseases because we eat and then we get rid of waste. So for uh, blood as well, when we have excess salt, excess sugar in the blood, it just stays and circulates in there. So when they donate, they get rid of that and then um, body gets to make new blood products for them, which is more healthier for them. And the Brian Bell Center for Blood Transfusion calls for corporate companies, secondary schools, and general public to visit the center, which is open 24-7, including public holidays. There are vital benefits in donating blood, which improves the health of the donor as well. When we come back, Southeast Mananda launches a special purpose authority that's working towards connecting these people from Mount Bosavi to government stations and importantly, easier access to basic services. The people of Southeast Mananda launched a special purpose authority in Walago Village, Southern Highlands. The launching coincided with the commissioning of the Rural Healthcare Ambulance Services and solar power systems for Walago and Agu Health Centers. With no road access and communication services, Walago is yet to fully experience basic government services. The excitement and the prospect of having road access to government stations was overwhelming and emotional too. With no road access and communication services, Walago Village in Southeast Mananda, LLG, of Nebakutubu District in Southern Islands, is yet to fully experience basic government services. The people walk for two days to reach Como Government Station, the nearest. If they prefer Kutubu, they travel both day and night for three days. Nipa Kutubu district is host to oil and gas fields, but life is challenging for the people of Walagu as the TV1 news crew came to see and experience. <laughs> So, ni how much lo lugim yipla? You come le toro, flisato toro mona wanem. M U star backside lo video seven. On Thursday, February 9, 2023, Chairman of the Southeast Mananda Special Purpose Authority, I Pape Ulijeli, led a delegation consisting of officers from the Department of Petroleum 
the Department of Local and Level Government Affairs and Media Personnel to Valagu, a remote village in the jungles of Mount Bosavi. After almost two hours of flight time on Tropicare from Port Mosby to Valagu, the chairman and his delegation were traditionally welcomed by Valagu locals. The sincere welcome was emotional for the visitors. The launching of the Southeast Mananda Special Purpose Authority at Valagu paves way for basic government services after more than 30 years of neglect. Chairman Ipape Ulijeli urged these people to work with him to see this plan unfold. You mean like working plant is something? Working road go? Working more something go? That's all figure, money million million and you know something. Legally something you mean? Now government sorry no employee give him some money or no got him no salary. Or give him by him not about something about some at least time you black give him penis. One time this la me how much that's all looking you black. The authority has delivered a rural health care ambulance and solar systems for Valagu and Agu Health Centers already. However, having a population of more than 3,000, the people of Valagu still face a few challenges, including an aid post that often lacks vital services. Some time, we have all married, we have all the beginning, we have all the time, we have all the light, we have all the time, 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 we have all the time. Na lo trivalim piginini house tu em house ino proper house mi plaza trivalim piginini na staff house lo mi plato em ino good la staff house mi plaza toki mo staff lo mi plato sleep one bla work month aso staff one bla month aso staff so some bla all merry em all month staff so all sa fret na all sa karim lo push na bat na baby bilum sa pass lo pelliet na some bla sa tay. One life-threatening reality is that pregnant mothers are ashamed to seek the assistance of the health worker in childbirth because he is a man. Many have died while doing so. On mama, osa karin pinini so lightu noka sampla time mibla sa lighti kento na mibla sa karin but sampla mama I'm also saying. Also caring, but some people also die. Mama also die. But and people tending to go. So people have no mama. Yeah, you know, come time. People tending to carry them go. Yeah, them hard. No people walk by the corner. People waiting by the stop. Go go. No, some people time also losing life. No, no people are planning making more. No, some people time all mama are losing life. Now all people need also stop. But some people time people need die and mama are stop. Because my brother no got road logo, carry mama go. Suppose car stop, then my brother can kiss me and go lau si carry up. Now it's a lau si pibi carry up. But lo yeah, no got so. Or mama yeah, so stressed. Then more so die na. My brother like find him hard stressed lo. Carry or mama go lau si again. Connecting them to the rest of the district and the province with road links is the most important service at the moment. The authority was established in 2021. Its focus is to connect Mount Bosavi to Como. Man and the project and Mr. Mountaineer stopped long time ago. 
2004. Time to do project start, nearly 30 years. Authority no not come up nothing. Em no come up. In Ablo man the project start, the authority will come up. You may get president, you may get department, you may get government, you may get order something. That's all why I'm not come up. Could you special papers out already stop here? Me looking one black gap, that's all, and me jumping, and me walking. The authority chairman is adamant in ensuring the people are connected and no longer neglected. House man, you helping me, you me, me, you me. People, you go look at me. I'm also not black, I'm so I'm all government. Me plan of big la money, or some 20 million, 15 million, you have a high skin 15 million, could have him 15 million, 23 million. Eagle of black skin, red skin, one of kind skin. I'm all skin here. Me plan no got this like kind money. One year me black skin one million tasso. One million I'm no big lah money. Suppose all leader block could do more than height. One million I'm little money. Also I do ga I'm pocket money block chairman na manager na all signatory number. Even director do all best stuff out there. One million tasso me black skin one year. That's all me plating in you plan. One million I'm living money, that's all me plating in you plan. Local man who goes by the name of Richie is looking forward to more opportunities and access to government services. No go look that way. If you have 2% more on me, I'll have him no yow. No go hand mark, bro, 2%. No yow, zero, mouth for savvy. No go do so way. I said that's what me black is in Mount CCIOG. Three years finished. No go look so way. Me black out this a double flag. Me black look 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 this a flag that's all. Papa look this a flag in no cam. In no go look so way. Me black look in school look this a this a double flag that's all. Papa look this a flag here. In no fry cam. So today. We want direct have service. No indirect. No middleman. Put up writing proposal. Submission. To national training. Oh, where DP. But me bla harim. Some can thousand kiss him. That's all. No god, no got the handmark. You go to Muruma. You go to Bosavi. You come to Walagu. What a walk him the name of Walagu. Walagu house it. All walking on name block, walagu plumbari. One one all walking paper, submission. No got hand mark. I block out. Acting manager for Southeast Mananda Special Purpose Authority, Alan Ricks, says the SPA has allocated funds through its subsidy scheme to assist students this academic year. Chairman, I'll both lame long. One of kind think thing, one of kind vision is stop looking and blogging me long. Help him now, manage him now. After the break, Watabung Primary achieves high school status. Daulo communities converge to celebrate. People of Daulo District in Eastern Highlands Province can finally celebrate the upgrade of Watabong Primary School as a high school, an education achievement that was long overdue. On the 26th of January this year, the 46-year-old school can now serve children in the district and address education needs for its constituency. <laughs> Surrounding communities in Watabong Dalo District converged at the school grounds to welcome important guests on January 26 this year. It was an important day for them. Their local primary school, Watabong Primary, has achieved high school status, and everyone who had made this dream become reality was in attendance. Watabong Primary was first established in 1977 
In 2013, it was one of many schools across the country directed by government to apply for high school status. That dream was realized 10 years later. Through education, reform will come up. The first man to register, but maybe 36 will be in the high school. Now, the reason why you become 36 is because of the recent blogging. Without you, technical team for education, people are in obstacles. You front men for education, you stop the education system and work. Smith Nomane, an organizer at the launching, described the new Watabung High School as a newborn baby that must be nurtured until it can function well as a high school. In April, we black in 2014, but we black in 2023. Prior to the school becoming a day high school, parents and children would travel long distances to secure a space in neighboring high schools in Eastern Highlands. Now they did not have to do that. However, the new high school still needs many infrastructure materials to help teachers and the school administration run the school. These include furniture and office supplies. This guest speaker and member for Daulo Ikime Gorosahu delivered. He said 120,000 kina was at their disposal to ensure this dream of establishing a high school was realized. Managing director for Eagleness Construction, Elizabeth Curry, raised an important point about taking care of school infrastructure. Her company was able to complete the new science lab and build the four-in-one classroom block. However, it lacked basic facilities, but she is confident it will reach its full potential with the assistance and collaboration of the District Development Authority and the MP's office. Keys to the new science lab was also presented to the school administration. All of this was followed by the ribbon cutting to officially launch the new high school, carried out by MP Gorosahu. In thanking all who contributed towards the school's new status, pigs and garden food were presented to these special guests. And that ends scope this evening. A kind reminder to apply the following simple measures to prevent the transmission of the coronavirus. Regularly wash your hands with soap and water, cough or sneeze into your elbow, and exercise social distancing. If you are feeling sick, please stay at home. You can also call the COVID-19 hotline number for more information or assistance. Thank you for your company. Bye for now.